I think uh, post COVID, um, I feel I want to bring in more simplicity, less clutter in my work, less dependency on the limited resources we have. And intellectually, I wish to be more focused, saying more by showing less. And finally, bringing the joy of color, texture, form, to keep the viewer engaged. It's very hard to pick one artist that, you know, I would say stands out for me special. But to list a few uh, from a very diverse lot, uh, I would say Ai Weiwei, Banksy, and Anselm Kiefer. Um, very, very diverse. The physical presence of a teacher, I think, is very important. And uh, particularly in terms of guidance, you know, every student has a personality. When uh, you have an interactivity with the student, you give the instructions accordingly. Um, having said that, uh, a large part of the post-COVID world will definitely be online and uh, independent working students within the confine of their own spaces. And of course, the teacher will be there to kind of guide, but there will be, you know, I, I still feel that you need to have a one-to-one. -one. The word digital is going to take a new turn. It's, it's already there in the VR space, in 3D printed works. Um, people will become more aware of uh, using the computer as a tool and that anything that is used as a tool still makes it a work of art. The physical and the monetary acquisition of a work is still important to sustain creativity. So I'm hoping that there will be more art on the virtual space. Um, and I'm sure that till we are able to get that sort of immersive feel, completely, you know, part of that virtual immersion uh, for large installations, the gallery, the museum, and art fairs are still going to be there, but on a smaller scale. I love the engagement or the feeling that I get when I work with mediums and techniques that are in my control. But as the saying goes, art should comfort the disturb and disturb the comfortable. So experimentation and collaboration with multiple media is the way to jog one out of their comfort zone and to push the barriers outside the realm of one's imagination. Well, all of my work has some part of me in it. And um, I don't think that there's one prize work that I can choose from. But um, I can give an example of one work that has been in my home for almost 30 years. And it kind of embodies um, a, a, a history of mankind. Uh, it's a game of polo. And it talks about the sport and it talks about the derivative from a hunt. And it talks about the inherent aggression in human nature and how kind of history repeats itself. And most of all, it talks about the illusion of life itself. In this lockdown, the only thing that has kept our sanity are the artists. Streaming movies, uh, concerts, uh, virtual galleries, museum spaces, books, social media. We are open and in a frame of mind to be more receptive to this. We realize that the community is working together, has more chance of a survival than an individual. It's a wake up call to support the arts. We surpass ourselves only if we can dream. The artists are dreamers. You have to give them a chance to dream.